done with the base of the tattoo. Before time began. Look at all those details. There's gonna be a lot more things added into the arm, so we're far from done. And I love it. Mm. It'll be so incredibly cozy when it's snowing. Time to take down the Christmas tree. <laughs> I shoot most of the vlog with auto ISO whenever I'm using that A7S3 and then aperture priority on the CV1. I'm also not going to use any picture profile on the A7S3. I usually shoot my vlogs in uh, S-Log3 but I'm thinking like if it looks just as good in the regular profile, who knows, that might be uh, worth not shooting in S-Log anymore when I'm doing my vlogs at least. I mean when I'm doing my more serious productions and b-roll videos and that kind of style then I want to have the dynamic range but now I think this will suffice start to realize that you're making some sort of dab sounds whenever you do specific things. So I noticed that whenever I get up or sit down, I'm like <coughs> and then when I'm laughing at something, it always starts like <laughs> I think that that is so fun. <laughs> That's the like uh, papa stern dad noise. <sighs> Amanda and Alex has been away for the weekend up at Al Sanders's grandma and grandpa. And uh, I've been at home working, doing a couple of things here in the studio. And I want to talk about my future plans for 2022 because one of the things that we have talked about a whole lot here on this channel and my main channel is to buy a house. And that is going to be the key focus this year, which means that I'm also going to try to vlog more. I'm going to try to make more videos behind the scenes of everything and uh, just take you along on, you know, day to day, week to week basis and uh, have fun. Looking back at 2020, what I did wrong back then was that I worked a lot. Like every single day that I could, I worked. The thing I tried to do in 2021 was to phase in the like spare time with my family and with Amanda and Alex so that I wouldn't work on weekends and that I wouldn't work on special holidays and stuff like that so that I could spend more time with them. I haven't succeeded yet. I, I can't say that I'm, you know, the best at it, but I'm way better than I was back in 2020. And as of 2022, I want to make sure that I am going to be able to post more videos, but work less. I know this sounds kind of weird, but I'm going to try to expand the business with an editor, someone that helps me edit on a weekly basis and also do a lot more vlogs because vlogs are not requiring me to spend a lot of time on the videos, which means that I can make more videos in a shorter period of time. And my plan for YouTube when it comes to this channel is to make more searchable content. Last year, when I was doing my daily vlogs, I tried to focus on making clickbaity titles or intriguing titles. And the thing with those are that they generate a whole lot in the beginning, but over time, it kind of falls flat. So I want to make sure that my vlogs are drawing in viewers over a longer period of time than what they did when I was doing my daily vlog. So you'll probably see more searchable titles from me here on this channel as well. I 
I wanted to have this mix panel on C-Stand so that I get the space free so that I can actually walk here. The downside about C-Stand is that they take up so much space. I think that this looks good. It's gonna be precisely so that I can walk under. Huh? This is uh, another feature that I got here in the studio where I uh, take this down, take your pepper tube, clip it on there. Voila, we got some extra light. Feels good cleaning Christmas out, but <laughs> this is uh, typical Pete. No, 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 no! I was about to close the monitor, and then this was here, and then I slammed it shut, and it broke. You know, when these things happen, you can't do anything but just kind of laugh it off because it doesn't really matter what you do. No one or nothing or anything can change the fact that the screen is already broken. The odds of that happening is actually pretty high when it comes to me, but good thing is that I got my new MacBook hopefully coming sooner rather than later. Because now I can't work from anywhere but the studio. But that's good, because I'm, I'm gonna be at the studio for a while.